Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be installing and configuring a Hyper-V Server 2016 machine. And before we begin the actual installation, I first want to mention a couple of words about Hyper-V Server. This is a specialized version of Windows Server that has limited functionality. Basically, this is a Hyper-V Server. So it has all the Hyper-V features that uh, a normal Windows Server has. It also has different related roles and features that a Hyper-V Server would need, but basically that's all. It also doesn't offer any licenses, so when you install Hyper-V Server, whatever you install on it, if it needs a license, you will have to buy a license. One more thing is that you should only use it as a Hyper-V Server. Don't use it as an application server, don't use it as a file server. This is free for you to use as a Hyper-V server. And yes, it is free. So you can just download it and install it, no questions asked. Now let's go ahead and uh, install a Hyper-V server machine. First, of course, we are going to create the virtual machine. And this is the same process as uh, you have seen before in this series. I'm gonna name it uh, HVS01. I'm gonna make a generation 2. Uh, as far as RAM goes, I'm going to not enable the dynamic memory and give it 4 gigabytes of RAM because I will enable uh, nested virtualization. Let's connect it to the switch. Uh, as far as disk goes, I think 50 gigabytes is okay. And I'm uh, gonna install it over the network because I imported in my WDS environment the Hyper-V server image. Now let's start the machine up and let's install Hyper-V server on it. Now since we are using WDS, I need to give it a username and password uh, for the WDS share. And I'm uh, gonna install Hyper-V Server 2016, as you can see from this list. And the installation will start. I will uh, jump back into the video once everything is done and we can uh, just configure the remaining stuff on the virtual machine. And the installation is done. I already changed the name of my computer to HVS01 because when I install it, I have a generic name. And the fun thing about Hyper-V server is that we don't even need to install Hyper-V on it because it's already installed. So now what I want to do is just run a couple of commands to configure the VM path to create the Hyper-V switch and basically that's it. So this will configure the Hyper-V part, create a private switch, create also a public switch. And that was it. Uh, it's very easy. You can get started uh, very quick with Hyper-V server if you want to try it out. And I encourage you to try it out. If you want to follow along uh, with the videos from this series, I would suggest that you 
install uh, either this server, a Hyper-V server or a Windows Server 2016 because we are going to do uh, live migrations and replications which require at least two Hyper-V servers. Like the video and share it if uh, it was helpful for you. And also consider subscribing if you want to be notified of new videos that I put out. And thanks a lot for watching.